Welcome back for part three of a four-part mini-series that is strictly on top 100 favorite films of all time list. Now, next week for the fourth and final part of this series, I will do a refresher of everything up until then. And, of course, this is number 50 to number 26 of favorite films of all time. This includes, of course, TV shows... And I'm even going to include, like, mini-series and stuff under that as well. So, with that said, let's get to it. Coming in first at number 50, and if you care about the music in the background, this is music from a great anime called Rioni Kenshin. But coming in at number 50 is actually a film that I'm sure most people wouldn't have in their top 100, but... For me, it is. I like it a lot more than most people. Coming in, number 50 is Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Yeah, I like Episode 2 quite a bit. Heck, almost like all three of the prequels are in my top 100 favorite films of all time list. Coming in at number 49, a great indie film. Um... Bio, I guess you could say a biograph or whatever if you want. It's about how the company McDonald's came to be. Um, and it's about the life and the rise and stuff, the creation, basically what we know as McDonald's today. And about, of course, uh, Crockett, which is the one responsible for it. Um, which is played by one of my favorite actors of all time, Michael Keaton. At 49 is The Founder. Next, coming in at 48, definitely a lot of people have enjoyed, I'll admit I like it a lot too, the comedy is great. Coming in at 48 is Deadpool. Coming in at 47 is a true great classic from Steven Spielberg. Coming in at 47 is the original Jurassic Park. Coming in at number 46 is a definite guilty pleasure of mine from when I was a kid when the film came out. I was the targeted demographic, so it makes sense, but I enjoyed this more than the first one, I'll be honest. Coming in at 46 is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze, which has one of my all-time guilty pleasure favorite songs, Ninja Rap. Uh, coming in at 45 is a great anime film, and way better than I ever expected it was going to be, and I thoroughly enjoy the film. At 45 is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Coming in at 44 is a film that has always been one of my personal favorites. It's easily one of my top two favorite films ever by the director Ridley Scott. Coming in at 44 is Gladiator. Of course starring this was the uh, performance that really made me a fan of Walking Phoenix. Coming in at 43 is easily just about my favorite of the Harry Potter films. Coming in at 43 is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Coming in at 42 is one of my top five favorite MCU films of all time. It's a film I feel is somewhat underrated of MCU movies, personally. And it also has, of course, in the starring role, a definite actor I like quite a bit, and that'd be Ben Dick Cumberbatch. Coming in at 42 is Doctor, Str Bleh, Doctor Strange. Coming in at 41 is one of my all-time favorite holiday films from when I was a kid. I still watch it. Uh, religiously every holiday season because of the great common comedy with Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci and stuff. A little tongue-tied this morning. Still rather early. Um, at 41 is the original Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin. Coming in at 40 is another film I would consider a guilty pleasure. In my opinion, easily one of the absolute best Live-action adaptations of video games of all time. At 40 is the original Mortal Kombat film. 
Coming in at 39 is another one of, in my opinion, the best MCU movies. And that is coming at 39, Captain America Civil War. Next, coming in at 38, is a all-time classic from the 1980s that I will always enjoy. It's easily always been my favorite of the franchise as a whole. Coming in at 38 is the Transformers, the movie, the 1986 great film with some great 80s rock music, which I love, my 80s hair metal. Coming in at number 37 is a film I'm surprised more people don't like. Or rather, most people's probably in the middle of the three films of the trilogy, but for me, favorite. At 37 is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, which is easily my favorite of the Hobbit films. Coming in at 36 is a true great anime movie of epic proportions, and they help revive to a lot of the normal public the love that people still share with the Dragon Ball universe. And that is at 36, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods. When we were, of course, first introduced to Super Saiyan God, as well as Lord Beerus and Whis. Coming in at number... 35, another great Miyazaki film from Studio Ghibli. At 35 is Princess Mononoke. Coming in at 34, a old-time classic, definitely 90s science fiction action film, and probably my favorite uh, film starring Bruce Willis. Coming in at 34 is The Fifth Element. Now, if you've never seen Fifth Element, I highly recommend it. Coming in at 33 is, in my opinion, maybe the absolute best non-Disney anime and musical of all time. Coming in at number 33 is The Prince of Egypt, which is an incredible film, especially that villain song. It's just called, well, let me just put it this way, it's great in the fact that they use Egyptian mythology and stuff obviously in it with the villain song talking about the different ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses which is awesome. Um, coming in at 32 is one of the most criminally underrated films of all time in my opinion released in 2002 based on a great book. Coming in at 32 is The Count of Monte Cristo. And if you've never checked out the film, I highly recommend The Count of Monte Cristo. Heck, I even recommend highly reading the book as well. It's great. I love the book and I love the 2002 movie, which has great cast and good solid acting. Coming in at 31 is easily one of my top three favorite films from the 20th Century Fox X-Men universe. Coming in at 31 is X-Men Days of Future Past. Coming in at number 30 is easily, in my opinion, the best Star Wars film done under Disney. Coming in at 30 is Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Coming in at 29 is my second favorite of the Pirate films, of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Coming in at 29 is Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Next, coming in at 28, another all-time classic from Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. Coming at 28 is Kiki's Delivery Service, which was my second ever Miyazaki... Well, actually, it was my first Miyazaki film, my second ever Studio Ghibli film. First was Grave of the Fireflies. But Kiki's Delivery Service, the music is still, I love it to this day, and I always will have a special place for Kiki's Delivery Service and any Studio Ghibli film. Coming in at 27 is my all-time favorite Batman movie. It is easily, in my opinion, the best of the Dark Knight trilogy and the best Batman movie, period, in my opinion. At 27 is Batman Begins. Coming in, rounding up part three, easily the best anime musical 
in quite a few years from Disney, in my opinion anyways. And that is coming in at 26, responsible for a song people couldn't get out of their heads. And was a huge success, making over $1.2 billion, but I love this film, in all honesty. I've seen the film over 10 times. Uh, coming in at 26 is Frozen. And of course the catchiest heck song, Let It Go. But that is it for part three of my top 100 favorite films of all time list. Stay tuned for the new fu near future for a new comic book review I'm working on, as well as a couple of new video game reviews. And I'm working on some new gameplays and stuff for future playthroughs. So with that said, I'll see everyone next time. Hope you enjoyed the music and this list. Leave a comment below, tell me what some of your personal favorite films of all time are. What are some films you personally like that you feel were criminally angry like myself with uh, The Count of Monte Cristo and many others? But I'll see y'all next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel, and stay safe out there in all this craziness.